Mr. Deputy Director General, Madam Assistant Director General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for inviting me and offering the opportunity to address you this morning. Houston, we have a problem. You might have heard this famous sentence, but as you know, what seemed to be a single problem turned out to be a cascading events on the board of the Apollo 13, one triggering the other and step by step reducing the life supporting capability of the spaceship. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here today to tell you how much we need your contribution and support to the UN General Assembly. We are facing the most dangerous mixture of risk factors threatening development, peace, and security. And however hard is it to admit the existence of our civilization on the planet more than any time in the last four decades. During the first year of the pandemic, we received, let's call it a postcard from the future only indicating what might be awaiting us further down on the road if we don't change course. Now a big power which is approaching us. Before we even start the first debate in September, the 77th session of the General Assembly is already overshadowed by war, displacement, food, and climate and water crisis, the diminish, diminishing of, of our ecological carrying capacity, sovereign debt crisis, and declining trust among countries and many other stakeholders. We are at a watershed moment, politically, economically, and in terms of our socio-ecological sustainability. The urgent tasks stretch way beyond one year, but there is no more time to protect transformation. We have to build trust and show positive pathways into a different, better future. This is not always easy, but we know that science and innovation are, uh, are key to empowering decisions and decision makers around the world, discovering alternative ways to organize ourselves and the way we harmonize our operations within nature. Innovating a non-sustainable economic practice into a new era business model that goes beyond GDP is one of the great challenges of the year to come. Resolving the water, uh, water and climate crisis in an integrated manner will be part of our journey. So will be the renewal of food production and food security that has a bearing way, way beyond the immediate consequences of the war in Ukraine. Similarly, we need to find solutions to the immediate challenge of, challenges of the energy, energy crisis and the ways of long-term energy transition that requires new technologies and trillions of investments. The International Year of Basic Sciences and uh, hopefully the decade of basic sciences in the near future offer great opportunities for all to contribute. The work of the General Assembly will need to hinge on the pragmatic advice from this science community. We desperately need open science, involvement of as many stakeholders as possible, and the ability to transform big data into pragmatic solutions. I believe that solutions for our current problems are best developed in two dimensions. The first challenge is how to fill the knowledge gaps that slow, 
transformation today and to find the core benefits of integrated, cross-sectoral and multilateral thinking and operating. This will enable us to offer developing new business cases. Many of us who are able to change things are simply too comfortable in their habits and see no need to do business differently. In the second step, we need to develop and operate platforms that will provide information and services to anyone, anyone on this planet. To do this, we need the scientific community to develop new and further looking scientific guidance and validation procedures that will allow us to monitor and assess how our behavior on this planet impacts the economy, social justice, and ecological carrying capacity. We need to look out and embark on the best pathways to secure peace, stability, welfare, and healthier, healthier planetary ecosystem. The model of the IPCC has been one that has surely contributed a fair bit to motivating the UN member states to come together in the Paris Agreement. Let's learn from our own successes to scare them up. Ahead of each and every big event decisions by the General Assembly, we need to see scientific evidences and how they could be taken on board during decision shaping processes. I am looking forward to your contributions to our common agenda. Please engage in scientific cooperation where political tensions are the highest. Please engage into a betterment of policy and service delivery. Please ignore taboos and accept and share your errors so that they do not need to be repeated over and over again. Please approach my team with your ideas on how we can strengthen the contribution of basic sciences to the work of the United Nations General Assembly. It has been an honor addressing you. Thank you much for your attention.